The CW's teen drama Riverdale brings a world of classic Archie comics to a contemporary setting, and the premise has resonated with audiences for four seasons so far. With season 5 on the way, the show's success has much to do with its charming willingness to fully embrace the weirdest, most ridiculous plots the writers can conjure, like storylines about the terrifying Gargoyle King or a serial killer known as the Black Hood. While Riverdale is more than happy to take the plunge into the strange and surreal, it's always been anchored by the flexibility and chemistry of its capable stars. Still, even the actors sometimes feel that certain scenes are a bit much. In a recent interview with the Los Angeles Times, Betty actress Lily Reinhardt discussed one particular Betty scene that almost went too far outside her comfort zone. According to the actress, she struggled with one particular Riverdale season 4 scene that required her to show more skin than she was comfortable with, particularly since society and the entertainment industry alike have long pressured women to look a certain way, and she felt she didn't fit that standard. Reinhardt told the Los Angeles Times, I don't have the CW girl body, tiny waist, to nice shaped legs, skinny, small, tiny. I had to do a bra and underwear scene in this last season, season 4 and I felt really insecure about it. I really, really didn't want to do it." She then went on to say that while no one forced her to perform the scene, the experience of filming it wasn't exactly pleasant. I wasn't pressured into doing it, I did it because it was my job, but I felt bad about myself doing it. I really did. Reinhardt is fully aware that her decision to shoot the scene despite her considerable discomfort might strike someone as odd. However, she's a proponent of body positivity and as such, she's quick to point out that she felt the need to shoot the scene to show the world that not everyone needs to look like a finely sculpted fashion model. I can't preach body positivity if I don't practice it. So even if I'm not feeling amazing about my body, I felt it was important for me to do the scene anyway, in my bra and underwear, so people could see my body as it was. I did it for the people who feel like they need to look a certain way. In general, the actress isn't a fan of the way our culture and social media promotes a certain type of perfect body. She went on to say, You go on Instagram and I'm like, oh look, all these people with these beautifully toned bodies, and then go to the beach. Does anyone on the beach in the real world look like that? I don't see anyone looking like this. Instagram and Victoria's Secret runways are not a portrayal of how people look in real life. Historically, Reinhardt hasn't been afraid of taking the ball by his horns when it comes to discussing her struggles with body image. She said that she considers her own body to be, quote, average, especially compared to her Riverdale co-stars. In the past, Reinhardt has also criticized the body image pressures of the industry, noting that she has witnessed several actors going without food for 12 hours in order to appear in certain scenes. In February 2020, Reinhardt opened up about her insecurities in more detail on Twitter, responding to another user's now-deleted tweet that, presumably, was criticizing her appearance and or the appearance of a Riverdale co-stars. She wrote, Actually, not everyone on this show is perfectly chiseled. And even I feel intimidated by the physique of my surrounding castmates sometimes when I have to do bra underwear scenes. Reinhardt also revealed that she struggles with things like cellulite and weight gain, and her history of depression doesn't exactly help matters. However, she's perfectly aware that the problem ultimately lies with the skewed beauty standards of the entertainment industry, rather than her. This industry struggles with accurate representation of female and male bodies, so I commend the women who have helped our industry take a step in the right and authentic direction. We are all imperfectly beautiful, so let's embrace that and practice that in a healthy way. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite actors and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.